Assalamu alaikum. So recently I've been teaching my son how to skateboard. Uh, he came to me, he wanted to learn how to skateboard, and I said, fine, you know, I'll teach you. Um, obviously I used to skate, and like some of you know this, I've lost most of my skills. I mean, alhamdulillah, I can still, I still know the basics, uh, but you know, I'm not that great of a skater anymore. Uh, but it's, it's cool to see that my son is kind of getting into skating as well. Uh, he's five years old, by the way. Uh, so I actually didn't remember how I was taught to skateboard. It was such a long time ago. And I was actually about his age or maybe a little bit younger when I learned how to skate. And I don't remember um, that how I was taught. I just remember, like, I, when I think back, I know I just, I know I learned how to skate. You know, I got comfortable on a skateboard. I started skating. So I really had to think about the, the, the way, like how do you teach someone how to skate? Uh, and so one of the first things I had him do was um, I wanted him to get comfortable on the skateboard to kind of find his balance. Uh, so I, you know, I got him on the board and, you know, it was, uh, the board started to move underneath him. And I was like, okay, yeah, so that's, that's lesson number one, uh, get comfortable on the, on the board. It's, it's a weird sensation when you stand on something and it can move. It's got wheels underneath it. And I know some people, when they learn how to skateboard, they'll kind of put their skateboard on the grass or something so it doesn't move. Uh, I'm like, no, we don't have time for that, right? Uh, get comfortable with the board. I mean, I held his hand, obviously. I'm not going to let him fall. Um, but, you know, I held his hand and I'm like, look, but you got to understand the board is going to move. Uh, so get comfortable with that sensation. And he was okay with that. And then he said to me, uh, he said, uh, Dad, I, I think I'm, I might fall. And then I remembered uh, a very important lesson about skating. Uh, and that is that you're going to fall. And I told him, I said, look, uh, here's the deal. Uh, if you want to learn how to skate, if you want to skate, and especially if you want to get good at skating, you have to come to terms with the fact that you're going to fall. It is inevitable. Um, sooner or later, you're going to fall. And not only are you going to fall, you're going to fall over and over and over and over again. It's inevitable. And that is true for life as well. We know that in life, there's no life where you don't go through difficulties. You don't go through tests and trials. Um, you don't face adversity. Even someone who has lived like a fairly privileged life, they're going to at some point face some type of adversity. Obviously, the, the type of difficulty that we all face uh, is different, right? We may have different trials that we go through, but every human being goes through difficulty of some type uh, in their life. And, and to, to live a content life, um, a satisfied life, you have to come to terms with that, um, with that fact that you're going to go through difficulty. Uh, but it goes beyond that. We understand, and actually as Muslims, we understand uh, that adversity is not a bad thing. Adversity is actually a good thing. Uh, we know the Prophet ﷺ told us that if Allah loves someone, he tests them. And that is why the Prophet والسلام, were, the Prophet ﷺ told us they were tested the most severely, more than any other human beings, the prophets of Allah, the messengers of Allah, they were tested the most severely. And so, number one, it's an indication of Allah's love. Number two, it is through tests that we get better, that we get, you know, from a spiritual point of view, we get closer to Allah uh, when we go through tests, when we go through difficulty. Um, and likewise, you know, with skating, the only way to get better is to fall, is to get hurt. And by the way, I'm not saying that you don't take precautions. Obviously, you take precautions, you know, wear your helmet, you know, your, your knee pads, whatever else. Uh, but you still have to come to terms with the fact that you're going to fall and you're going to get hurt. Uh, and that's why anyone who's skated, uh, anyone who's, who's skated for any period of time in their life, they'll tell you, especially like professional skaters or people who, you know, have skated a long time, they can show you the scars on their body, you know, their, their wrists, uh, their knees, their ankles. Ankles are a big thing. Uh, you end up twisting your ankle a lot. You know, some people break their ankles. It happens. But to become a good skater, you got to come to terms with the fact that you're going to get hurt. So that was, you know, a very important lesson for him. And, you know, I started thinking about how even in life, uh, that's been an important lesson, like on a personal level for me as well. Um, I don't think I would be where I am today unless I went through difficulty in my life. Um, those moments of difficulty that we go through it's either a learning lesson for us or or it's a moment that we may give up and lose hope and so likewise in skating when people fall 
uh, they either lose hope or they, they give up. And I know people who have um, maybe skated for a little bit, but then they fell off their board and they got hurt and they're like, I'm never skating again. And they never skated. Yet there's other people who um, skated, they got hurt, but they kept going. And that is how they became good at skateboarding. Likewise, it's the same thing in life. Uh, there's another lesson uh, for us uh, as well when it comes to skating. And it's almost an extension of uh, the lesson that you're going to fall. Uh, and that is the following. So my son, you know, I told my son, I said, you're going to fall. I said, look, instead of worrying about falling, number one, as, you know, as I said, come to terms with it, accept the fact that you're going to fall. But instead of worrying about falling, learn how to fall. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in, in, in skating terms, um, one of the things you learn, you know, and this is stuff that I was recalling, uh, I was remembering as I was teaching my son how to skate, uh, you know, one of the things you learn when you start skating is how to fall. So there's, there's, and so there's, a, there's a, a right way to fall and there's, a, you know, wrong ways to fall as well. Uh, let me give you an example of uh, what not to do. So the wrong way to fall um, is to put your hands out which is our instinct, by the way, we try to break our fall with our hands. The, uh, the problem with that is that when you put your hands out to fall, you're putting uh, some of the most vulnerable parts of your body, um, you're, they're taking the impact. So let's say you fall on your hands, your wrist is going to get hurt. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you can break your wrist, you can fracture your wrist, you get a really bad sprain. Uh, and so you, so you learn not to fall, even though that's instinct, by the way. So if you're not used to falling, um, and I actually fell recently, um, and I had forgotten that lesson. I, I put my hands out and I actually hurt my wrist, um, because I've forgotten that lesson to, and, that, and that is to not fall, uh, on your hands. And so that's the wrong thing to do. Uh, also it's wrong to panic, right? Once again, that's our instinct. It's normal. You don't know what to do and you panic. What is the right way to fall? How do you fall when you skate? Well, number one, don't panic. And that's not something you can force yourself to do. It only happens with experience. The more you fall, the more comfortable you get with falling, the more you can think through your fall. And so if you can think through your fall, if you can remain calm, then you can maneuver your, your body in a way to take the least amount of impact and the least amount of damage. Uh, so one of the things a lot of skaters learn is to roll into your fall using kind of like your back, your shoulder, kind of roll into the fall. So you, when you roll, you, you take the least amount of damage, but that only happens uh, if you can be calm. And so that's, you know, one of the right ways uh, of how to fall. But how does that happen? Well, it happens with, as I said, with experience um, and by learning how to do that, by preparing for that fall. Likewise, for us in life, uh, it's important to prepare for the difficult times. And, you know, I'm not going to get into, you know, worldly issues of how to prepare for difficulty. Yeah, that's, a, that's an important topic as well. But from a spiritual point of view, um, how do we prepare to fall? How do we prepare for the difficult times? Well, um, you know, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us, he said, Get to know Allah in times of, of ease and Allah will know you in times of difficulty, in times of adversity. What is knowing Allah? Well, knowing Allah is building a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, increasing in our spirituality, increasing in our connection. You know, sometimes we only make dua to Allah when we're going through a difficulty. And that's, that's good. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. Obviously, whenever we make dua to Allah is, is a good thing. Um, but sometimes it's, it's almost too late because we haven't prepared ourselves um, of how to make that dua and what type of connection we're supposed to have as opposed to someone who in times of ease, in their normal life, they constantly rely upon Allah. Even in the good times, they're constantly making dua to Allah. They're, they, they built that spirituality. They built that connection with Allah. So when difficulty comes upon them because they've gotten to now recognize Allah, they've gotten to know Allah, they've, they've gotten to love Allah in times of ease, now that difficulty comes upon them, at, at this moment now they know uh, how to reach out to Allah and also they will find 
comfort in their dua. They will find comfort in that reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's one of the meanings here where the Prophet said, uh, Allah will know you, meaning uh, Allah will provide you with that assistance. Allah will provide you uh, with the ease and comfort of heart. And so that is the point here. So just as with skating, you know, we prepare um, for the difficult times. We're not afraid of the difficult times. We, we prepare for it. Likewise, in our spirituality, it is important, uh, it is important that um, as you know, life is going good and we're having good times, that we don't forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we prepare uh, for those difficult times. And that is why our spirituality is not a part-time thing. It is something that we, as Muslims, you know, we, we, spirituality should permeate all aspects of our lives. And that's why when we talk about Islam, you know, we say this is not, uh, it's not a religion, this is a way of life, right? Our deen is, is a way of life for us because we live that spirituality. And so when times do get difficult, uh, we are able to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and find that comfort uh, in those moments of, of, of difficulty. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. I apologize if I've rambled on or gone on for too long, uh, but I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts that I had uh, regarding skating and how, you know, skating, um, there's lessons to be learned from skating as well. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. I'll see y'all later, inshallah ta'ala. Take care. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.